是否？I'm gonna just surprise you and ask you to calculate a distance of a curved road and this is what we'll be dealing with in this tutorial welcome to another tutorial video just as in other tutorial videos we will use the 1 is to 50,000 topographic map of Zebedela Limpopo now assume that you were asked to calculate the distance of this road over here from there at the diggings to the T junction or a three way stop over over here. One thing there are two methods to this approach. One you can just use your string and the other method which we are going to use in this video is using a paper strip to to measure the distance. So I'm using a paper strip uh, method because it's the most easiest and most uh, accurate. And also a paper strip is more likely to be one piece of info, uh, one piece of um, tool that you can get. You can just tear strip from your question, your question paper. So our starting point will be just right there at the T junction. And as you can analyze this road, there's a curve just right there. And then the second one is there. And as you move along, here's the third one right here. And then we're going to end just right here. So wherever there is a curve, I'm going to put a mark on my paper strip. So I'm going to put my paper strip just where I'm going to start right there and I can put a mark over here right just to indicate where I have started and as I can see um, right here here's my curve because this the road does no longer follow the um, the paper strip so I'm going to put a mark here to show that the road was caving over there and follow the road and I can see that just right here this is my second my second curve where i can put my my mark so turning over my paper strip to follow the road um i can see that here's my second mark over there and then i can just put a mark over there so putting my mark right at the curve, I can see that this is where I, I end. So from here, two things can happen. I can take this measured distance and use my ruler to measure the distance and calculate the distance according to what the ruler says. Or I can just take this paper strip and place it on my a straight line scale or my line scale to determine the distance but the purpose of this tutorial video is to simplify things so we're going to use the easier method which is the ruler the ruler method so what I can do from here is just to take my ruler and measure the distance in centimeters so placing my ruler there I'm going, I get something like 5.1 centimeters. So from here, I can just put everything on paper and do the calculations. So let's do it. So I know my distance was 5.1 centimeters and the scale of the map is 50,000. One is to 50,000. So I'm going to multiply by 50,000. And this will give me 55.1 centimeters times 50,000. Let me put that in calculator. 5,1 times 50,000 centimeters gives me 
255,000, which is equals to, and we need this distance in kilometers. So we use our method KH DMDCM, which is kilometers and there's a centimeters. We put one here and we put our zeros to kilometers meaning I'm gonna divide when I'm facing this direction. So I'm dividing by 100,000. So zeros will cancel zeros. 255 divided by 100, it's close to 2,55 kilo, kilometers. So this means the distance of this road from here, curving right to here, is equals to 2,55 kilo, kilometers. So let me know in the comments what do you think or what questions do you have.